I'm Helen and I own Helen James Flowers. People love to send flowers, people love to receive flowers. Who doesn't love to receive flowers? And they're very important for people's well-being, mental health, especially in a time like this. Um, it's been, I think, very important for people to keep in touch that way um, if they have been able to see each other in person. Well, I suppose one of the only things people can send, um, other than perhaps food or wine or something like that, but um, yeah, it's been really, really popular. Um, for pe a, a really good way of people keeping in touch with you, like letting their relatives know they're thinking of them. And... We've got lots of these lovely Scandinavian People call them gnomes, but they're actually Tomptons. They're, um, they're part of Swedish folklore. It's their sort of Father Christmas um, character. And we sell loads every year. They love them. Everybody loves them. The kids love them. Parents love them. Grandparents love them, you know. And we've got other, lots of other little things, decorations that people like, um, you know, just to put around the house, that sort of thing on the tree. So um, at Oxford Street at Bow Grove, we sell sustainable furniture. So it's pre-loved and um, restored items that people may have thrown out um, but we, we like to um, have this furniture here and sort of um, renovate it and resell it um, at, good, at good prices. Um, so people have got the opportunity to buy furniture that they can afford but something that's quite funky. Um, so that's, what, that's one side of the business. The other side of the business is we, we have an ethical grocers where we sell nuts, spices, um, lentils and things like that um, and then we do um, zero plastic fruit and veg as well so we're very hot on sort of ethical values and stuff so that's what we really focus on. Um, I think more unique businesses are popping up which is fantastic opposite we've got Artisan that they're very focused on the handmade um, and also um, they're a charity so they, 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 the people that make stuff for them are people that are in difficult situations and they're trying to make money for their family so that's a fantastic charity so we just we're, we're really ethically into what we do and because we love what we do we think that just brings a nice element to our shops and we're happy we're happy to trade and we're happy to do business with people and we want to sort of spread the word in terms of you know sustainability and buying furniture like this not spending loads of money for example on a DFS sofa which you're going to pay off for five years you can buy it for hundred pounds a Chesterfield for a couple of hundred pounds and you've got it for a long time. We started about 12 years ago in Hebden Bridge where we were in a little tiny shop at the end of Market Street uh, it was a gift shop that we took over from a family member uh, my background is I'm a chef Warren's background who's the other partner in the business he's a luxury retailer uh, we thought why are we buying all this product in when we can make it ourselves. Warren had experience and a little bit of knowledge of the, the, the manufacturing side of the products. My skills as a chef, I knew how to upscale and make things bigger. So we took it from being a small gift shop in Hebden Bridge, rebranded it as the Yorkshire Soap Company about 12 years ago. Within a year, we were moving out of the small shop into a much larger premises because uh, we were fed up with making the products at home on our kitchen table. Our life was soap, the dog was covered in glitter. So <laughs> it was serious, it was that bad. So we, uh, we took on a larger premises where we could fit a kitchen into the shop. Uh, and that's when the Yorkshire Soap Company really started as, as what we are today. Uh, and then we proceeded to open other shops. The big, big shop, which is across in York. Uh, the Imaginarium, which is our home store, which is next door. And then the other stores, bringing it up to a total of eight shops throughout Yorkshire now. Everybody said you, from day one, when we had the little shop in Hebden Bridge, you must be in Harrogate. You can't have a shop called the Yorkshire Soap Company and not be in Harrogate. And we waited and we waited. Uh, it seemed like there was never an empty shop in Harrogate. Uh, and then we were driving around one evening, not looking for a shop, because as you know, we've got one across in Knaresborough. We did a store visit in Knaresborough and said, oh, let's nip down into Harrogate and have, have a coffee. And we saw this shop with a Telet sign outside it and we had to have it. It's a big store. It's got the high ceilings. It, it was something where we could really go to town, invest in the shop fittings and make it feel like a real patisserie style soap shop that you would see in a big city, which is what Harrogate deserves. So we, we invested heavily in real marble, real wood, uh, cake stands that we imported from America and really, really went to town with this shop. Uh, and I think hopefully not just the fragrance hits you when you walk through the door, but the feel of it with the chandeliers and the, the colour scheme 
This is, this is the shop that I'm the most proud of at the minute. We get loads of feedback from, from our manager here. She just says customers are so proud to be supporting a local business. The people of Harrogate are really behind us. Uh, we were nervous because we weren't an established brand when we opened. And on this street we have other great brands who are both international and national brands. And we kind of stood out as a small independent, but the support has been amazing. 2020 has been a strange year. This is currently our number one seller. We're selling out in our other stores regularly. We've now got a great stock of it, but it's Santa says sanitized. We're putting a little bit of humor into a strange situation. So we've got uh, a hand wash and a hand sanitizer that's fragranced with cinnamon and orange. And that is our number one Christmas seller this year, along with the patisserie items that are always our classics. But this is the one thing that we are, this is our hero product this year.